This is Twit. Wikipedia I, says you're into kite photography. That can't be current. Is that current? Um, that was. <laughs> I was into that uh, in the sort of before drones were really affordable. Yeah. Or and yeah. um, that was one of the only ways I could think of to get a camera up really high in the sky. Right. Uh, I haven't done anything with kites, uh, kite photography recently. Now. Kind of what I thought. And you do credit, oddly, uh, Alexis Ohanian and Serena Williams for the drone. What's the story there? Did they give you a drone? Yeah, um, so I, I had a chapter on how to hit drones with tennis balls yeah. um, and with uh, sports equipment. <laughs> oh, So the idea was perfect. one of those drones flying around your yard and you don't know what it's doing there. And, you know, it's like one of those wedding photography drones. <laughs> so someone nearby is like flying over your house, <laughs> annoying you with the noise, taking pictures, whatever. And you're like, you want to you want to get rid of it. Um but all you have is your garage full of sports equipment. <laughs> I got interested in the question of what projectile that you might have around the house is the most effective for taking down a drone. And I got data from a bunch of sports science papers on accuracy at hitting targets in a bunch of different sports <laughs> and got to use those to compare them. But I didn't have tennis. And um, I had I had gotten a text uh, from uh, uh, Serena's husband and and mentioned, oh yeah, it's fun. I'm actually buried in the middle of uh, of uh, tennis research right now, <laughs> and uh, and so he said, oh yeah, well, uh, hey, if there's any way we can help out, uh, Serena's happy to 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 help. Um, and and I was like, hey, yes, I don't have data on pro tennis player uh, accuracy at hitting a target. I don't suppose you could um, next time you're you know down at practice. And, uh, and she was happy to help. And I was just hoping that she could uh, hit the ball at a target on the wall just one, a couple of times, videotape it, show how far away from the center it hit, and then I could use that to build a model for, for accuracy. But instead, she got an actual drone. Um, a Mavic that, and 2. And fly above the court <laughs> while she was practicing. Yeah. And, and, so, and so, and she put it a certain distance away and got me the measurements and then hit uh, uh, served the tennis ball at it until it hit and, and, and got to verify. And I, I hadn't tried this, so I was a little curious, uh, but a tennis ball will absolutely knock a drone out of the sky. Uh, but especially when it's served by the world's greatest tennis player. <laughs> Serena hit it in three tries and knocked it clean out of the air. And then I love yeah. the final cartoon of her uh, and rarely do your cartoons look like somebody, but it's pretty clear she's hitting Alexis in the head. <laughs> well, so I talked to I talked to a robot ethicist about this, who um, so because it was sort of weird, you know, you you when you see the drone lying on the ground with the broken repeller, it's it, kind of it, sad, it, it kind of sad. But like I built robots, you know, I know these things don't have feelings, right? But it still feels weird to destroy one and kind of gleefully, you know. I don't uh, like. I don't. I'm not entirely comfortable with that. And I so I talked to uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Kate Darling, uh, a a uh, at MIT, who uh, studies the ethics of human robot interaction, and got her to weigh in on it. And 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 she made some really good points about how um, how the way we treat robots as they become more lifelike reflects on us and people who are watching you gleefully destroy a robot will infer sort of how you treat things that seem to be alive. Um, and that, that maybe that's worth reflecting on a little and also pointed out like, because the robot isn't the problem here, the, the robots aren't, we, we assign so much agency to them, but the robots are generally, uh, controlled in one way or another by, by a person who is the real, uh, the real one exerting power. So, Hitting the hitting a tennis ball at the drone is uh, is really not solving the problem at its source. It's you a wanna, proxy. You find the it's a proxy the for Alexis, and so she yeah. <laughs> at the end but, she takes out Alexis. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a fascinating yeah. topic, and you've done a little bit on uh, on Amazon uh, Echo and listening, but I think it'd be interesting because I I hear parents all the time teaching their kids to apologize to the Amazon Echo for being a Kurt. And I want to say, no, that's a machine. You want to teach them it's a machine, not that it's human. It's mm -hmm. exactly the wrong way to think about it. Um, well, it's, yeah, it's tricky. It's, um, I, I think it's just generally a very tricky issue. Like it, it's it, the way we, the way we relate to, um, the way we, re we relate to computers as they imitate people and the norms we develop around that. It's, it's, uh, 
it's an ever evolving field. It's part of why I was happy to, to highlight uh, Kate's work on this because she's been thinking about this for a long time.